Today, I am going over 15 Bloxburg mistakes that you need to fix. Before the video starts, please go down and subscribe. My goal is to reach 100,000 and we are currently 85% of the way there. Subscribing is free and I would really appreciate it. Anyways, let's start with the first mistake. Throughout the year, Blacksburg releases seasonal events, and although many people complete them, there are just as many people that do not. These events can give you money, blocks, bucks, and even trophies. Some trophies, such as the School Trophy and Mysterious Cube, were released once during an event and never again, which makes them rare. So it's a good idea to collect event trophies because they are free, and there's always a chance that they will never be back. If you use a device that gets very slow when you play Blacksburg, you can do this to improve it. Go to your settings and scroll down to advanced settings. You can then adjust each property until you're happy with your performance. If you have a powerful device, max out your settings because it makes the game look so much better. When you are driving around the map, make sure to park your car in a parking spot or on a plot when you get out. If you park on the street, your car will despawn, which means you'll have to teleport back home and respawn it. And nobody likes sitting through the long loading screens. Did you know that if someone donates you glitched money, you can get banned even though you didn't use it? Yeah. To protect yourself from this, you can change your donation permissions. Go to settings and find the who can donate slider. Set this to friends or none, depending on if you trust your friends. This will ensure that nobody can send you glitched money. Just so you know, the bans are not permanent. All you have to do is appeal it and they'll remove the glitched money and unban you. But it's probably better if you don't get banned in the first place. If you're paying someone to build you a house, make sure that you know who it is. Many people get scammed from paying strangers to do stuff, so make sure you're buying from someone that is trustworthy and will follow through with their promises. A good practice is to record your interactions so that you will have proof if you do get scammed. This one is obvious, but make sure you keep your moods up while you are working. To show the importance of moods, I'm going to work at a couple jobs to make a before and after. At Blocks Burgers, 30% of your efficiency is from your moods. Working at 70% efficiency with low moods made me around $350 per task. But completing the same task with high moods and 100% efficiency made me around $530 per task. For pizza delivery, delivering one pizza with low moods made me $2,105. And delivering a pizza with high moods made me 3,007. I think you get the point. You can build a mood station like this on your plot to quickly get your moods up without using block spots. When used correctly, texture overlapping can look pretty good, but bad texture overlapping is very glitchy and in my opinion takes away from a build. Make sure to check your ceilings, floors, and other items for texture overlapping. To fix it, make the objects the same color or use a texture that does not glitch when overlapping, such as logs, planks long, and smooth plastic. When Bloxburg releases seasonal updates, seasonal items come with them. These items can only be bought at certain times of the year, so stocking up on them can be a good idea. If you don't have much money, at least buy one of each item. This is because any seasonal item could randomly get removed forever. A good example of this is the candy bucket. In 2017, the first Bloxburg Halloween update added the candy bucket, but in 2020, it was suddenly removed. That meant you only had three chances to get one of the rarest items in the game. So instead of waiting until next, Next year, save up some money and buy the seasonal items now. If you have bought Marvelous Mood and you still have Stink Clouds, do this. Go to your settings and find Show Negative Mood Effects. If it's turned on, turn it off. Now you will stop slouching and you won't have flies around you. If you have Robux that you want to spend on Bloxburg money, don't do it. Instead, spend your Robux on Bloxbox. This is because you can use Bloxbox to boost your mood quickly while working. And if you pair that with the fast food worker job, you can easily make over $200,000 per hour. If you were to buy that money with Robux, you would have spent 2,600 Robux. This is just personal preference, but center your house before you build it. If your build is meant to be off-centered, that's fine, but if not, just do it. It only takes a couple seconds. When building a house, you should avoid vibrant colors. You don't want your house to look like this. If certain objects need vibrant colors to look good, then yeah, sure, use them. But try to keep the colors away from major parts of your builds, like walls, roofs, and floors. Certain trophies in your inventory can be sold, and if you have them, you should do it. Those trophies are worth anywhere between five dollars to $20,000, so if you sell them, that's free money. But don't worry, if you ever want them back, you can just buy them again. 
Leveling up your skills can unlock many cool build mode items as well as giving you trophies. Since the athletic skill was overhauled and increased to level 30, the original trophy is no longer obtainable. And I bet in the future, most of the other skills will also get overhauled, which means if you don't get the legacy trophies now, you might never have the chance to get them again. So level up your skills, you won't regret it. And finally, do not delete your first house. If you have the Bloxbucks to buy another plot, do it and leave your original house alone. If you plan on playing Bloxburg for a long time, it's really cool to have the ability to go back and see how much you have progressed since the start. Back when I first started, I for some reason thought it would be cool to erase my game data. And now the only memory of my first house is in my head. So if you still have your first house, save it so you can look back on it later. It's worth the 300 Bloxbucks, I promise. And that was 15 Bloxburg mistakes that you need to fix. Once again, I really want to hit 100,000 and we are getting very close. So if you could go down and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. My socials are on the screen if you want to follow. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stick around for the next video.